ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு ஆயனவேஷன் இன்னைக்கு நம்ம சேனல்ல எய்த் சயின்ஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஆஃப் லைஃப் புக் வேல்யூவேஷன் பார்க்க போறோம் வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ளார போலாம் ஆன்சர்ிங் The fetal cell gradually attain change in structure and function. This process is called cell differentiation. So, in our body, first, a single cell is developed. That cell is called zygote. So, on this zygote, it will increase. It will continue as mitotic division. Different division is split. It changes its shape, size, content, all of it changes. So, a single cell is changed. அந்த ஃபீட்டல் வந்து மெனி செல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சராக சேஞ்ச் ஆகிறது தான் நம்ம செல் டிஃப்ரென்சியேஷன் சொல்கிறோம் ஓகே மார்க் திஸ் பேராகிராஃப் ஸ்டேட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிஷ்யூஸ் பேஜ் நம்பர் டூ நாட் செவன் ஸோ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிஷ்யூஸ் ஆர் கிவன் ஹியர் ஸோ எபிதீலியல் தட் இஸ் கவரிங் டிஷ்யூ ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் மஸ்குலர் டிஷ்யூ ஃபார் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் லோகோமோஷன் Connectivity tissue for binding different structures of a body. Nervous tissue for conducting of nervous impulses. So, you can see this tissue as a point of the cell. And names are the same as epithelial tissue, muscular tissue, connectivity tissue and nervous tissue. But, you can learn these four points. Mention the function of alveoli. Page number 210. Alveoli are tiny air sacs in the lungs that are located at the end of the bronchial tubes which is microscopic in nature. It is meant for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. So see this is called as an alveoli. It, it is a tiny air sacs present in the lungs. Okay, lungs are a tiny air sac. So, it is located at the end of the bronchial tubes. Okay, bronchial tubes are the end of the bronchial tubes. What does it work? It means, it will exchange the oxygen and carbon dioxide. So, we can inhale the oxygen and carbon dioxide and exchange the oxygen and carbon dioxide. Alveolize function. So, mark this paragraph. Mark it from here till end of this. Name the... Name the processes by which air enters and comes out of our lungs. Page number 210. See here the process of taking air into the lungs is called inspiration or inhalation. So, number air swasikronle. So, that is called as an inspiration or inhalation. This is the process. And the process of expelling air from the lungs is called expiration or exhalation. So, we can tell the air from the lungs. 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 So, you want to write these two processes. We can tell the air from the lungs. And then from here to till end of this. Differentiate Osmoconformers and Osmoregulators. Osmoconformers are, see here the points are given, the first paragraph. These organisms try to maintain their osmality of their body matching with their surroundings. Most of the invertebrates marine organisms are osmoconformers. Mark it from here till end of this. Then, osmoregulators, these organisms maintain their internal osmality which can be extremely different from that of the surrounding environment through physiological process mark this for osmoregulators okay so in the end point to differentiate at the end define metabolism page number 214 under the heading metabolism mark this first point metabolism is the sum of chemical reaction by which living organisms sustain their life 
okay market pill here and the term metabolism is commonly used to refer specifically to the breakdown of food and its transformation into energy cellular products and waste elimination so you have to copy this point also okay Roma letter 6 answer briefly define prokaryotic cell page number 205 in some organisms like bacteria cyanobacteria mycoplasm the true nucleus is absent these, these organisms are called prokaryotes so, so organism like the true nucleus nucleus absence are the kudiya organism ellame nama prokaryotic organism solrom so mark this point tablet the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration page number 213 see the difference between is given here so aerobic anaerobic so aerobic respiration la there is a presence of oxygen here there is an absence of oxygen the end products of aerobic respiration are carbon dioxide and water the end products of anaerobic respiration is co2 and ethyl and lactic acid okay then common in all higher plants and animals see the one the aerobic one the yellow plants and animals in the common this is in certain microorganisms and human muscle cells anger than anaerobic okay so mark this why the human eye is compared with camera page number 208 the human eye can be compared to a camera as both functions by gathering focusing and transmitting the light through the lens for creating an image of an object so camera la in the activities is either so the same will be done in the eye also that is gathering focusing and transmitting the light okay we call the human eye as a camera so in the either mark panikonga which organ and organ system helps to maintain homostatus Homostatus is the property of human biological system where the self-regulating process tends to maintain the balance for the survival. The regulation takes place in a defined internal environment. So, nama survival kaha nadaka kudiyanga process and the process adha nama homostatus na solrao. The example of the organs are see the liver, kidney, brain autonomic nerves and the endocrine system helps to maintain the homostat so namma survival kaha in the internal organs ellame nalla work panada we can survive okay so this is an example inge eldikonga the internal organs so in the two points you note panikonga mark it from here until end of this and later on here to here roman letter 7 answer in detail draw the structure of human eye and label its path Page number 208, so in the eye, diagram drop and practice and you have to note down the parts also. The important part, you want to label the parts. So, this is a very important question. It is a diagram question. First detail, in the diagram, drop and label and note the structure of human eye. Explain osmosis with an example. Page number 214, it is a detailed question. So, osmosis here, heading. Mark it from here. In the mark panikanga. Until end of this. This mark panikanga. This is the first detail. Differentiate between inhalation and exhalation. Inhalation and exhalation, the third detail in the tabla column. Full learning, copy panikanga. This is the third detail. List out the different types of metabolism with an example. Page number 214, metabolism headings. You have to write this. You need to write this paragraph. What is metabolism? Other definition. Then anabolism. The types of metabolism are anabolism and its example. Catabolism and its example. So, this is the fourth detail. Explain the mechanism of breathing. Page number 210, yeah. mechanism of breathing, in the mark panikanga, the inspiration and what is expiration and exchange of gases, okay. So, this is the fifth detail.
யூனிட் எயிட்டீன் ரோமன் லெட்டர் ஃபைவ் டு ரோமன் லெட்டர் செவன் இந்த வீடியோவில் நம்ம பார்த்தோம் இந்த வீடியோ உங்களோட ஸ்டடிஸ்க்கு ரொம்ப யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்குன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஆர் இனோவேஷன் சேனலை இது வரைக்கும் நீங்கள் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணாமல் இருந்தீங்கன்னா மறக்காமல் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் வாட்சிங் ஆர